up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I got me a legend today. This is old number 99, Warren Sapp. This is about a brotherhood. This is about a group of brothers who come together to form a weapon to go knock out these man quarterbacks that's going back, dropping the back 40, 50 times. They've lost their man mind. You know, most of the time, whenever I, t whenever I bring people out, it's like, they're, they're a fan of deer meat for dinner. Well, today, I'm a fan of the big man right here. I've been following him on Instagram for quite some time. This is Warren Sapp on Instagram. This is Deep CD. This is Miss Denise. Last night, we were at the ranch, and we had an amazing time. We cooked up a big dinner, just had a bunch of fun, and I said, what do y'all want to go do? What do you want to do? Kill lionfish. Kill lionfish. We got pole spears. We got the koa, we got a box full of ice and a beautiful boat. This is our new Inseta. It's a 35 foot cat and we are so stoked to be on it. More importantly, I am stoked that you are riding shotgun. Let's go dive. What a machine of a boat. This cockpit. Uh -huh. The work you can do in this thing. Lay your gear down, dive off the back, off the side, and I'm on a better setup. You can stand and do whatever you want. So the one I'm designing is you're going to be even more better straight down than that, yeah. That's how you go through the Jupiter Inlet. <laughs> We just got to the spot. Typically when we get here, Austin's busy running around, getting drone shots, setting up the GoPros, and it, there's so much more to making these videos than just, oh, running out there, throwing on a tank, and getting ready to go in. And I think we need to stop talking and get wet. Okay, you guys, so you're probably wondering why we're back at the dock. You're probably expecting us to be filming underwater, but just as we're about to jump in, he's like, hey, where the weight belt? I'm like, at the dive shop. So we just came over here to Jupiter Dive Center, ran back in, grabbed the weights, and uh, it's time for the fat guy life saver. Weight. Thank you. Hey, what's your name? Sam. This is Sam. I called, I was like, look guys, I need a weight belt really fast. They're gonna put that prey out on the street, we're gonna go get that money. We're gonna go get that meat, we're gonna go get that high. And the only way we go there is we go together. We go as a unit. We go every day. Man, the OTA, man, anything. Y'all come together as a unit and say what time we coming into this job and we gonna come in here and put the work in because the work you put in is the results you will get out of this man game. I guarantee you this. So make a commitment now to each other, the whole man organization and everything. Everything runs through the D-line. It starts up front, it starts with us, it ends with us. We gonna tap ass up and whatever's left, y'all can pick up the straps. Cause this man show eyes and we gonna eat like wolves. Because a pack runs together, the lone wolf dies. Do not be that lone wolf. Come together as a unit and knock the ass out. And I'm coming to Jacksonville, and we're going to get on them bags, and we're going to go round and round, baby, because I love it. It's like riding a bike, baby. Let's put in the work, and let's test some quarterbacks' ass up. And I'll be there soon. Check the ground. We'll have some good fish on there. Come on. <laughs> That, that's how you do it right now. This is no joke. We come out here, we forget our, our weight belts, run in, get the weights. He's like, hold up, I gotta do it. I gotta do a Zoom. I gotta go to Jacksonville. I gotta talk to Urban Meyer's new D-line. They want him to be the, the, the voice of the team and the heart of the team. Well, I'm gonna show him how Hey, to speak, some, speak some wisdom to them. Tell somebody out there right now is struggling to get through something. What you do if you're struggling to get through something, have a plan, a step-by-step -step plan. And every day you wake up, you do something about going to that goal. Because every day, you either get better or you get worse. No one stays the same. Do something about it. That's right. We're about to go do something down there. Do something about it right now. Thank you. 
Oh, boy, he sees the lionfish. Pow! <laughs> right through the face. I was expecting to see a few more, but we got them. Oh, boy, bang them. Only that one last one on the way Oh, up. that big oh, fat wow. one. That, yeah. that big fat one. He put a hole through his face. I got that one. You got it? Yeah. He oh, came yeah. back out? Him out, he came out. Yeah, I thought I'd him out. I chased him down. Chased him down? Boom. Got him. Got him. When you saw fish, well, pow! I'm like, over here. <laughs> yeah, I got it too. Oh, Hit him across his face and everything, right through his body. Oh, it's gonna be tasty. My man. My man. Hey, oh. Deep CD. So it just got for real windy. Boat handled it like a charm, came in the inlet. Now we're pulling up the Lucky Shock. This is a brand new little restaurant. It's called the Love Street Project. Really cool. If you ever come to Jupiter, you ought to check this out. We're gonna go in, see the seafood market, break down some fish, and they're cooking us something amazing. This is really crazy. Most boats that I run, the wind would shift you. This boat just sits like a dock. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna go clean the fish. Y'all hang out here. I'll be right back. All right. Let me show you a place called the Tackle Box. This is like a little seafood market that's a part of the Love Street project. They sell fish to the public, but they also supply all the restaurants right here with fresh, like locally caught, ultra fresh seafood. Let's check this out. What's up? So this is what you would call the best seafood market in Jupiter. They don't have a ton of stuff. Like they've only got a six foot case, but if you look, it's nothing but quality. A fresh caught gray grouper, we call them a gag. Those are locally speared hogfish. That looks like Mai Mai, fresh grouper, tuna. Key is, you don't have to have a lot to have something really, really nice. Nothing like going to a seafood market and it's smelling, ugh. This place smells amazing. Let's go clean some lionfish. All right, so whenever I clean a lionfish, first thing I do is I take my fingers and gently go under, and now that's out of the way. Take your the point of your knife, cut it up. You want to use a nice long blade. See how this is a long blade? Then take that, go right under the skin, right here. That is razor sharp. And if it pokes you, it's going to feel like a really bad bee sting. See this? Go right over the backbone. There you go. Now, I grab the filet, turn it around. There you go. Now that's a perfect filet. Nothing but bones. This side is the exact same thing. You just repeat the process. People say that lionfish are invasive, and they are invasive, but you know what? They're here. They're worldwide. They're not going anywhere. All right, you guys. Next stop, this is Chef Tim. He is a executive chef here at Lucky Shuck, and he's gonna work his magic on this fish. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start by getting a hot saute pan here. And then we're gonna take our uh, lionfish you guys just uh, shot. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, now I'm gonna hit this saute pan with a little bit of oil. Just any kind of neutral oil, soy oil, vegetable oil. You want it real hot. Yeah, real hot. Wow, that's real hot. All right, we're going to go ahead and flip that over. Give a nice sear on the other side, and then we're going to crust it. Going to hit it with a little bit of spicy mayonnaise on top. And what that does is it lets that pecan macadamia uh, panko crust stick to it. So here's our pecan mac crust. We're going to sprinkle that on top. So we put the macadamia, the pecan, and the panko breadcrumbs in like a food processor and yeah. kind of rough chopped it so it's a little bit chunky here. All right, so in the oven, we're gonna go with that now. Just takes a couple minutes since that fish is nice and thin. All right, perfect, got a little golden brown color on that. We're ready to go here. We're gonna put our creamy grits right in the middle. All right, now we have a lobster cognac sauce. Now we're gonna come over with our fish. Crop our fish right on top of that. And a little bit of scallion on top for color. There we go, that's our pecan mac crust of fish here at Lucky Shuck.
I promise you guys, I know a lot of y'all come to Jupiter on vacation and just to visit. If you live in this area, this is a brand new place. There's like three or four restaurants here that are amazing, but Lucky Shock really has my heart. You guys do an amazing job. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate your time. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much. Check that out. Hey, let's go see what Warren thinks. Warren's out. Uh-huh. How are we doing over man? here? Oh. This is the executive chef wait, here. Wait, wait, that look like grits. That yes, is. sir. This is the, uh, <laughs> the lion fish that you guys shot two Ooh. hours ago. Uh, pecan macadamia crusted over top of grits with a lobster cognac sauce. I want to see there what you is. think. <laughs> Watch. Oh my God. Oh. How's it warm? Oh, bro. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really light. Very light. Oh. Wow. Have I told you thank you? No, thank you. Thanks for coming and hanging no, out. No, thank me. you. Thank you, and I'm not done with you. <laughs> he's, gonna get, he's gonna get tired of me. Thank you guys so much. I don't know about Chef, but he's gonna get tired of me. <laughs> Never. Miss Denise, Ooh. thank yes. you so much. Mm -hmm. You are Absolutely. awesome. Thank oh my you. God. Hey, please drop a thumbs up if you were really impressed with how great they did. They've been diving for two years now, and you did absolutely amazing. Chris, hey. thanks for setting all this absolutely. up. Absolutely, love you, Rob. You guys, I want to tell each and every one of y'all in there right now, thank you for being a part of this. Thanks for being a part of my life, a part of my channel, and a part of this day. But that's all I got for now. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> God bless. And we are out. Out. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Go.